Righto, so we're looking at these uh, two examples. Example one is broken up into, into different parts. We're asked to find the future value of an investment of $4,000 for five years at 3% with interest compounded annually. Okay, so it's a straight up question asking us to use a future value formula. So the future value equals the present value as sort of one plus r to the power of n. Our present value is four thousand dollars. Now sort of one plus our interest rate is three percent, but remember we can't use percentages. It's got to be a decimal or a fraction. So uh, an easy way to convert a uh, a percentage or a decimal or a fraction is just to write it over 100 and have it as a fraction. So 3% is 3 over 100. Uh, N is the number of terms. We're doing this thing for five years. Now, because our interest is 3% is, uh, per annum and our investment is for five years, our R and our N agree. So there's nothing we need to do other than put our numbers straight into the formula. So uh, our little uh, volunteer on the calculator tells us. Okay, very good, thank you. Okay, so our investment grows to $4,637.09 in five years. Okay. Part B says, now find the future value for the same investment if interest is compounded quarterly. Well, now things change, right? Our N and our R need to, need to change to, to fit that and agree with one another. Okay, so again, future value is present value. That's sort of one plus R to the power of N. But let's have a think about what our N and our R are now. So, so N is five years. Well, five years is five times four quarters is 20 quarters. A quarter of a year is what that means, right? So you've got 20 quarters. Uh, R is 3% uh, per annum. So if I want to know how many, uh, if it's 3% uh, per annum, it's going to be 3 divided by 4% per quarter. Okay, if it's 3% over a whole year, and I want to know what it is over a quarter of a year, I divide it by 4. Now, I'm going to change this from a, a percentage to a fraction while I'm here, so I don't have to, to, to do it later on. Three quarters of a percent. Again, the easiest way to change a, a, a percentage to a decimal or a fraction is to divide by 100. It's actually going to be three over, and to divide by 100 is easy. You stick two zeros on the bottom. So it's three over 400 per quarter. Three four hundredths per quarter, and then we just take these numbers: our twenty and our three four hundredths, uh, and our present value, which is still five four thousand dollars for the question, and we substitute them. So our future value, continue up here. Our future value is worth uh, four thousand dollars times one plus. Sorry, let me fix that. My apologies. $4,000 times 1 plus, now remember our R was 3 over 400 to the power of N, which was 20 quarters. So can we uh, have a volunteer punch that in for us, please? There's, you can see the obvious advantages of having a, um, a natural display calculator with questions like this.
Give me that again. Okay. So, I mean, what do you notice? Just really quickly looking at that, what what do you notice is an immediate difference? Excuse me. What do you notice is an, is an immediate difference of having our interest compounding quarterly compared to compounding annually? I mean, when it compounded annually, we made. Uh, 4, 000, we, our future value was $4,637 and some cents. When it compounds quarterly, it's $4,644 and some cents. So we get more of a return when the, the compounding period is shorter. Okay, The shorter the compounding period, the, 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 the quicker our money grows. We're going to see why that happens as we work through more and more of the questions. Um, Okay, so part C says find the interest earned in part B. Well, in part B, we ended up with $4,644. It's a pretty straightforward question. How much interest did we earn? Well, we invested $4,000 and we got back $4,644.73. The interest is that extra bit that we earned. Exactly right, exactly right. So our interest... Uh, is our uh, our future value? Remember that A was uh, A and future value are the same thing. Minus uh, our present value or the principal that we invested. So our future value is four six four four point seven three. Our present value was four thousand. So our interest earned was six hundred and forty four dollars and seventy three cents. And part two, we're asked to find the present value. Now, we're asked to find the present value. That means we don't use our FV equals formula. We use our PV equals. So we use this version of the formula. Present value is, who can remind me? Future value divided by 1 plus R to the N. So our future value, uh, we're told in the question, is $30,000. Our interest rate is 7%, but we need to change that to a fraction or a decimal. Do these ways to stick it over 100. And our investment runs for five years. So very carefully entering that, in, that into our calculator. Okay, uh, 21389 and some cents. We're asked to get it to the nearest dollar. So to the nearest dollar, that's going to be $21,390. And that's enough for us to get a start. Uh, exercise 3A in the Cambridge Year 12 Standard 2 text.